This is the Global Economic Commodity Scrap Metal and Recycling Report by our Bentley Roll-Up Trailer and Roll-Up Pup Trailer, August 16th, 2021. U.S. weekly crude steel production fell to 1.872 million tons, an 84.7% steel mill utilization rate versus 91% plus in 2008. This was on increasing demand, but steel mills announced closures for maintenance. WTI crude oil price rose to 68.03 a barrel, near a multi-year high. This is a really, really crazy industry. 16 months ago, the U.S. cut a deal with OPEC to cut U.S. production, not OPEC, but cut U.S. production to get oil prices up. Yes, to get oil prices higher. This week, the U.S. called OPEC to raise OPEC's production to lower prices. U.S. weekly crude oil production rose to 11.3 million barrels per day, still down a huge 1.8 million barrels per day pre-COVID. Lower U.S. and global production is still bringing these higher prices. The U.S. weekly oil rig count rose to 397, well off pre-COVID and 2014's high. The industry is struggling to raise production after COVID's crash. Scrap steel number one HMS price fell to 438.33 a gross ton as good demand and very good supply remain. Hot roll coil steel price rose to 96.11 a hundredweight near the record hit during the week. Constrained supply continues to bring these record prices. Copper price rose to $4.36 a pound while the world's largest copper mine voted to strike and the U.S. Senate approved the $1 trillion infrastructure bill that supports demand. Aluminum price rose to $1.18.6 a pound, 26.14 a metric ton, the highest since June 2011. This was on good demand and tight supply as China cut production to cut their smog. Eurozone's June industrial production fell by 0.3% from May. Capital slash durable goods were down as non-durable goods were up. Eurozone's June trade surplus. Note, as shown last week, the U.S. is running record trade deficits. Eurozone's trade surplus grew to 18.1 billion euros. The Eurozone's surplus with China grew the most. U.S. August preliminary U of M consumer sentiment crashed to 70.2, one of the largest drops ever. There were worries about COVID, inflation, and personal finances. U.S. July core inflation, which excludes food and energy, it fell to 4.3%, as the used cars and trucks index soared 41.7%. No total inflation is actually flat at 5.4%. U.S. weekly jobless claims fell to 375,000 despite COVID's resurgence. Claims should improve in September when the extra $300 per week in federal unemployment benefits ends. U.S. June Open jobs report rose to 10.1 million, a record high. The largest gains were in professional services and retail trade. Wall Street's Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 306 points to 35,515, a new record. This was on strong earnings and the massive infrastructure bill. Lugger trucks and lugger hoists by Ben Lee. We are number one in the industry with the acquisition of Huge Haul. Buy a new lugger truck at Ben Lee or rent one at Premier Truck Sales and Rental. As always, feel free to call or email me with any questions and we hope all have a safe and profitable week.